What's up, guys? We're going to go ahead and review G-Data Antivirus 2024. Now, this is what it looks like here. And I got to say, G-Data is more for the advanced user. If you're a beginner, uh, it's going to be a little tough, but uh, we'll go through it. We're going to go ahead and review it. Uh, before I get started, I will show you where you can get a uh, free trial. If you go, I will post a link on the description of the video for the download section of the G-Data website. And here you can see all of them actually, but we're going to do G-Data Antivirus for Windows. We're going to go ahead and download this one and try it out. And here it is. Um, if you do want to buy it, it does cost $49.95 for one year, one device. Um, let's, let's find out if it's going to be worth it. Let's see if it's worth it. So here it is here. This is what it looks like. Um, for, a, for a newbie, it does look a little uh, overwhelming. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what PC Magazine had to say about it. They gave it a 4.0 out of 5 stars. We will go ahead and review it as well. But their bottom line, they said G-Data Antivirus gets decent marks from the independent testing lab. So they did test it. We're going to take a look at those test results. Excellent scores in, in their own tests. And beyond basic antivirus, it includes a spam filter as well as components designed to fight ransomware and other malware types. So we'll take a look at all that. The pros, excellent score in a hands-on malware protection test. Protects against banking trojans, key loggers, ransomware, and exploits, and it includes spam filter. The cons, it's got mixed scores and independent lab results. But the thing is, they, the good thing is they got, they got lab results. Some of these uh, antivirus programs we've been reviewing don't even have lab results, right? Without lab results, how can you even trust anything, right? We'll take a look at them. So it's got the, the specs on it. It's got on-demand malware scan, on-access malware scan. Does not have website rating though. Malicious. Although I think it does have, when I was looking at it, web protection. Look, hmm, maybe not the same as web rating, maybe website rating. Okay, malicious URL blocking. So that it does have, but it doesn't have the rating. Okay, okay, okay. It does protect against phishing, phishing with pH phishing. That's when they take you to a fake, fake website, for example, Facebook, with a fake login. And when you put your login details in there, boom, they got your username and password. That's phishing. Got behavior-based protection, does not have a vulnerability scan, and does not have a firewall. And this is what it looks like here, guys. Um, it's got three um, menu options here, security center, virus protection, and auto start manager, which is pretty cool. If you notice, I don't have ever an application in auto start. That makes your computer run as smooth as possible. Um, but this is where you can, if you see a bunch of them here on the right-hand side, Throw them to the left. <laughs> oh, no, to the right. Wait. Ah. Actually, my bad. These are the ones running in the... in the. I was lying to you guys. I actually need to throw all these over here. My bad. Auto start with delay, suckers. I don't want you guys starting in the beginning. You torrent and starting... I need to fix that. I thought I was all slick that I had everything under control. Look, look at all these programs running. Okay, I fixed that now. So that's what you guys could do. Go to Auto Start Manager here. This is the first thing you guys should do to speed up your computer. Put them all towards the right-hand side. All right, let's go to the Security Center. So real-time protection, that's active. It's got idle scan. That means when you're just idling, it's scanning for you. Oh, but it's paused right now. Uh, if you click on it and you click on Check Computer, it'll actually start scanning for you. Click Yes if it gives you a security prompt. And there it is. We're going to let it scan while we look at the program. Got web protection, email check, spam protection. And if you notice, I have it for 30 days because we got the free trial. If you buy it, I already showed you how much it costs. Uh, virus signatures are up to date, but if you need to update, click here. And that'll update them for you. But they're already updated, so we're going to close it. If they're not, it'll say right there. Next update is running. Also, it's still running in the background. Uh, bank guard is enabled. Keylogger protection is enabled. Exploit. So it's got a lot of protections here. Let's go to the virus protection section here. Now you can schedule a virus check, and in here you can go ahead and schedule it. Put new, click on new. Uh, give it a name. I'm just gonna give it whatever. Uh, analysis scope. Check the hard disk drive. The scheduling here is where you do it. So once, let's say you want to do it every. Um, ah. kind of not user-friendly is it so here you can change it 
you can do it once hourly daily or weekly and I'll let you guys figure that out but it is kind of hard oh you just click on it and then uh, on your keyboard you could change it there you go click on it and then change it on the keyboard scan settings uh, both engines is recommended uh, disinfect and copy you could tell it here what to do move to quarantine delete the items I recommend you move to quarantine because what if it finds something uh, that you want to keep on there a torrent you might have downloaded or something infected archive same thing move to quarantine we'll hit ok uh, say yes ok you guys could uh, you guys can personalize it however you guys want but that's what I would do if you want to see what's in quarantine you click right here and show quarantine and here you can see it you can disinfect you can delete uh, allow for now on if it's a fake if it's a false positive you can actually also create a boot let's say your computer doesn't boot up because it's so contaminated on somebody else's computer you can create this boot medium here right you create it click on there you create it click next 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 it'll walk you through it it'll go to the flash drive then you plug it into your computer that's infected the flash drive and uh, when it boots up it'll automatically come up the viruses won't will be asleep while the program kills them because sometimes the viruses come up online and then they stop whatever tries to kill them trust me i've seen it all all right um not bad not bad it doesn't have much extra features that i would like let's take a look at the test results though uh, test results is what really matters because the program could look really nice it can have all the bells and whistles but if it does not have a good score why even have it so here's g data a score of 9.3 out of 10 that's a really good score guys for lab results so nine 93 percent of the stuff that's out there it will get blocked that's really good is there programs that have 100 yep avg right now is at 10 bit defender right now is at 10 which we have done reviews of them and they're pretty good programs guys but it looks like uh, g data where to go right here g data is pretty good as well 9.3 that's not bad that's not bad at all and i know there's one more test i think it was a malware protection test and where's g data right here 9.8 guys out of 10 it'll detect 98 percent and 99 percent malicious url blocking pretty good it's up there it's up there it's second place right now guys first place is norton antivirus plus so i gotta say it's pretty good um I think PC Magazine scored it well, 4.0 out of 5. That's what I'm going to give it as well as a 4.0 out of 5. Like I said, um, it is kind of hard, though, for a newbie, uh, newbie to look at this and know what the heck's going on. But if you're new, all you really got to use is this middle one. Click on the middle one and click on Check Computer. That's the, the only thing I would really worry about. Check your computer once a month or, every, or once every three months. And I wanted to also look at right here it looks at it scans system areas it scans memory and startup and also a root kit root kit is a very important one that's when it gets into the very deep uh parts of your computer that actually runs everything and uh, if it can get rid of those that's pretty good all right the scan will take a while depending on how many files you have on your computer how fast your computer is but it could take hours guys thanks for watching like i said 4.0 out of 5 i do recommend it um also like i like we saw avg and bit defender are up there as well so this one is like second place or third place so not bad not bad thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next video